This is a trick I learned on YouTube, uh, thanks to the guy that pointed out that the the, um, the WD smart WD40 smart straw also fits on the Mr. Muscle. It's nice on that. As with the other videos, you'll need a pair of water pump pliers just to release the clip. Ouch, that hurt. Pull off the hose. Now, I'm using a little bit of bubble wrap and we've got the, the can. So we'll put the Mr. Muscle in and we'll make a seal. We'll just check that if you look inside you can see the foam. So we'll just make a seal again. Always wear gloves to do this. Now this foam is going to be working its way into the manifold and into the valve. And this is going to remove the excess carbon. We can already see the carbon coming out. Make sure you're wearing some protective gloves to do this. There'll be quite a few treatments in each can. So if you just hold that in place, as the foam expands, it'll go further into the, into the carbonized uh, deposits on the manifold and around the valve. Now we need to wash off and we'll also be washing the, the deposit out after a, this has been left to stand for about an hour and a half. So the best way to do this is a garden sprayer and also for spraying the water inside the engine once the, the vehicle is running. So this is great for washing off. out because that's done its business now. We'll just wash off the excess. Right you don't want to get water in the don't get any water in there until the vehicle's running. So we'll just let that sit now and do its business. Oh, it seems to have started up okay. All the Mr. Muscle has gone down the air intake. Now we'll go and have a look at the exhaust. Let's have it at 2,000 revs.
using a pressure uh, spray type used in the garden filled with water we're now going to wash out the hose and the, um, the valve and the cooler and also the uh, the water will apparently decarbonize the engine Mr. Muscle, an oven cleaner with sodium hydroxide. We're going to test this with aluminium. I've read recommendations that you shouldn't use this with aluminium. This is a tea light uh, candle holder, aluminium, very thin. And this is some aluminium wire that we've already got soaking. So we're going to add the tea light. So this is before, nice and shiny. Be very cautious with the uh, oven cleaner, it has got sodium hydroxide in which will burn your skin, burn your eyes. Read the data sheet before use. I will leave this for a couple of hours and revisit. The aluminium wire, which is welding wire, has been submerged in the Mr. Muscle for about three hours. So if we wash it off, as you can see all that's happened to it is a slight bit of discoloration. That's after three hours. Now we'll have a look at the, the pot which has been in for about two and a half hours. Again, a little bit of oxidisation, but a little bit of a wipe over and you can see there's no evidence of it eating into the plastic, eating into the aluminium. So it causes a little bit of oxidization. So on an aluminium manifold, on a vehicle, it's going to do absolutely no damage if left in for a couple of hours.